In this video, I'll be going over how to make clouds. So first of all, make sure you're under dynamics, fluid effects, create 3D container, options. Let's reset these settings real quick. Apply. So by default, this is your 3D container. What we want to do is make it so it's uh, big enough to contain clouds. So I'm going to go up here, vamp up the resolution. So a bit more on each of these sides. So basically, the more they are here, then the more detailed your clouds can be. Let's do a 25, 5, 25. As you can see, it just makes this thing bigger. You can scale that by hand if you want to. So anyway, clouds, we know the density has to be off, velocity off, mainly because we're not going to have it so it dynamically changes and goes up and down or uh, randomly moves. We're going to have it, so we're going to animate it differently. So I'm going to go down. Most of the things that change or determine the way clouds look like is the shading. So I'm going to do transparency and bring this down a lot. So it's a lot more opaque. And uh, I'm going to give it a higher edge drop off. And right here, I'm going to add some color. You want clouds? Let's just say this is like perfectly white clouds. You can change these colors if you want to. Uh, that's entirely up to you. I'm going to give this a Y drop off. It's a Y gradient of some sort. Let's just round everything off. Next is opacity. Uh, so I'll add another one here. I'm going to set this to constant instead. And when you're dealing with um, any fluids, I recommend going to 6. So that's your uh, textured mode. You can kind of see it. We have one giant cloud right now, which isn't all that realistic. I'm going to change this to smooth. So it's a bit smoother of a transition. There we go. I'm going to set a bias. I want to have this thing have texture color, texture opacity. As you can see, uh, it's just using these. You already see the shape, shape of it. It's pretty interesting. I'm going to turn off grid now. Here's a little cloud. looks kind of ugly. Scroll down a bit more. So what you'll be play mainly playing with is amplitude, ratio, frequency, ratio, depth, max, etc, etc, etc. Um, changing these values will essentially drastically change the way your clouds look. Um, so here I am, here's amplitude at 1, uh, so you can see what happens when you move back and forth. You can see, basically it fills it up a bit more, or you have a little less. Um, so I'm pull down a little bit. The ratio, if you move this up and down, you can really see uh, how it affects the clouds. I'm gonna give this a lower ratio. Then there's frequency ratio. Um, changing with this shows you just how much more noisy the cloud becomes. So if you really want those clouds where everything's kind of broken up in tiny pieces, you can pull it all the way up. Uh, for my sake, I'm just going to keep it where it's at right now. And there's depth max. Uh, think about how thick these things get. There we go. I'm going to turn on inflection. And there, you already have these clouds that look pretty cool and pretty realistic. So with these selected, uh, I can also go down here and then there's texture time. And this is the one you want to animate because if I'm moving this, you can see how the clouds just kind of form. But by default, it kind of stays in one place. Uh, so I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to create a new expression. Here's a little expression dialog box. I'm going to take, select this, middle mouse, drag it down to your expression box. I'm going to make it equal to time. Let's see what happens. If I click create, and I'm going to make this, let's say, 500 frames or so. It's moving pretty fast. That's kind of unrealistic. So what I want to do is slow that down. What's the best way to slow things down? Just divide it. I want to say divide by 7 or something. Edit that. Close. And there we go. A lot more realistic. Of course, you can change this based on uh, how you want your uh, clouds to move. If you want that really fast time-based stuff, then you can bring up bring this up and make it equal to exactly time. Uh, I can render this out. Let me see how it looks like. It's pretty cool. Another thing I want to add is self-shadowing. So I go to lighting. I'll self-shadow this thing so there's a bit more shadow casting. It looks, a, it looks kind of fake that way. There we go. We rendered it again. It looks a lot more realistic. Um, 
You can also render this in Mental Ray. It does not have to be done in Maya software. So you can go to Mental Ray, Quality, New Production. Make this up a little bit higher, 1K square. And there you go, some very basic clouds. Depending on your angle, your lighting, and everything can change how the clouds react and how it will look. Try to press play a little bit. You'll find exactly when you like it. Render again. And there you go, clouds. You go inside and really play with any of these and uh, see what you can get. So if I break this up. You can see how the clouds start looking a bit more broken up. Just be careful. If you put too much, it looks kind of fake. So be careful with your values. I believe this is a four. You can tell the render times for this is actually pretty good too. Not bad at all. Like this looks a lot more realistic. Just play with your settings. You can get something really neat. You can also give these things color if you want. If you don't like the white clouds. You can always go through and play with every little aspect of this.